Hey guys! In this video I will not play any games, I will talk about and demonstrate the translation process and uh, of, of the game and the program that I have written. So um, right, it's typically in English this and if you go into settings and system then you will find the language. As you can see we have nothing else but English here so let's uh, create the mod the translation mod and I will use my program to uh, to do this. So let's exit this. Alright, so we have have it here. So the, this is the program. We can make it a little larger and we all oh right we have a new new version of the game. So let's go into Stonehearth into locales, 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 and here we have the English file. So let's just put it here. And since I like to to keep track of what I'm doing, let's just Stonehearth and today's date, which is like this. So this is the latest file. This is the original file and we could translate and then just throw it in here and name it en.json and that would work, but that's not how you should do it. So let's see how we shall do it. First, let me do some translation and I will talk about this program, how it works and how it looks and what, what you do with it. And then I will create the mod and insert it into the game and we'll switch to Swedish and I hope that's okay. So if you see some Swedish here, it's uh, just bear with me. So when you open it up, it looks like this. You have translate, the log and settings. Typically, you will not care at all about these tabs. So just stick to the normal one, the, the main one. This part, these uh, radio buttons and these controls are for searching for tags that is nothing you normally have to do but it sometimes it can be good for example the swedish translation of hearthling is well we decided to translate it and if we perhaps change the translation to something else then we can use this search function to search for every occasion of hearthling and retranslate those tags the first thing you should do is to open the original file and as you remember it's this one that we just renamed to this so we open that and now note that we have nothing in the translated text column we have only original text and everything is marked orange so orange means that the translation is missing and if you start from scratch well you could do like this like you translate one by one like that so then it turns white and that means that this is different from this one and that's probably okay most probably you can also use perhaps you will use an english file if yeah you can do like this copy paste and have a copy here and then you can use as translation file, the next row, you can use the copy, this one. It takes roughly three seconds to open it up and match everything. Now you can see that everything is yellow. So yellow means it's the same as this one. This could be okay if the word is the same in English and your language. I think in Swedish, for example, the word pause house is the same in Swedish and English so this one would be exactly the same and it will be marked yellow but that's okay and uh, let's see what else you need yeah right previous and next now let's open up our previous uh, latest Swedish file as translation file then it looks like this then we have a lot of white things we have yellow things but we also have a big num a large number here this means that i have 340 missing translations that are not 
white, they are not uh, yellow, they are totally missing. So this should be zero. You should always have this to zero. And uh, let's see if we can browse down to one, like here. Potted cactus. Well, I know that translation in Swedish, but perhaps I want to... I will keep it for some time, I won't do it directly. You can click reset and that will just copy the, the text from English to the translation. So that it can be a way to just secure that you have a translation and then once you have played the game and you see how it's supposed to be. This isn't perhaps a good, good example, but sometimes it can be a sentence you're not really sure of how it's used and then just mark it yellow and translate it when you know exactly how it's supposed to be used in the game. And this one is used to jump between uh, yellow and uh, and orange ones. And if I press previous now, I will end up up here. See, so next. So you just step through. Once, once the file is fully translated, then you will just... You will only have yellow and white ones and probably not too many yellow ones. So you can use this to just traverse through the file. Okay, I think, all right. So here we have, for example, this one is new for this version. The uh, game menu about, we didn't have it before, so this one is missing. Now we could do like this and just reset and set, set it to about. And in Swedish it would be like that. But we'll, remove it for now and see how it looks when we have nothing. So let's close this for now. When you, Well, normally you will save it after you've done a lot of things, you will save it to a new file, but we won't do that yet. I'll just demonstrate how it looks first. So let's take our latest Swedish file, the translation file. And here I have a folder. This is the translation. This is the mod that I will insert into the game in the uh, Stonehalf mods folder. Here we have added languages.json, we have the manifest and we have a translation and another different font because our special characters in uh, Swedish is not really matching the fonts used in, uh, in the original game. But we'll come to that in just a while. So translations, go into Stonehalf, this is one. So this is the old file, I'll just remove it and we'll rename this to look like that. And we also have Reyes Children translation and so those are my translations that I have done. We have folder for fonts, this I borrowed this from the from the uh, from the German translation. Thank you for that. It's one a different font. So let's take a look at the manifest. This is the mod for, uh, th this is the, like the, what describes the mod. So we have a Swedish translation version two and we have the added languages file that we're referring to. It's this one. We have the Swedish, Swedish SV-SC. This is a new language that we'll have, have added to the, uh, to the game. And we are overriding the, the Stonehearth main file with the translation Stonehearth. This, the one that we just created. And the Reyes Children is overridden by this one. And then we have the font override as well, so, uh, so it will look okay. So all of this is pretty straightforward. You this is downloaded from the Radiant GitHub, so uh, you don't need to worry about that. The font one is new, but just copy this. And I think that's pretty much it. So what we do now is that I will just zip this. So here we have the zip file. We will rename that to smod. 
you can copy this folder directly into here but I think this is a more it looks better to do this I think it's a more neat way of doing it and now the mod is installed so let's start up the game and see if we can make it happen So what we do need to do now is we have to go into the settings. So here is the about that I talked about, and now when we, and you can also see that the font is different. For some reason, it's already adapting, adopting the font. System language. Now we can see that now we have a different language to choose from. Now we have Swedish. So okay, and it will restart the UI. And now everything should be in Swedish here. New game, exit, settings. Here it looks strange because it's the about tag. So let's take a look at that again. This one about and we'll set this to om as in Swedish. And then we have a lot of these, uh, <laughs> the other ones. I will do this eventually, don't worry. Here's the one that has gone missing. Uh, we can see it in, in the far bottom. If you take a look at here, it, no, the log won't say. But in the bottom, this one, this is the last tag from the main file. And here is a tag from this previous Swedish file that doesn't exist anymore. So this tag does not exist anymore. So now when I save the file, this one will be discarded. It will only save the file up until this tag. So let's try that and we'll tr save this to a new. All right. I think that's pretty much it for, okay, we can reload data now. I wonder if it will remove this one. I'm not not sure it will. Yep, it did. So now we have reloaded. Now this one is the right side is our new file. If we just find the next one, then you can see here. Still there. So this is indeed our latest file. Not much more to say about this program. So I think we can just drop it. And we open our translation mod translation we'll go into here we will remove this file and then just add our new one yep copy rename it oops well oh, that looks good and let's see if it looks better now when we start the game i hope it does <laughs> So let's see. It doesn't say anything. So it seems like there was another about that I didn't <laughs> that I didn't see before. So what you you should always translate everything, or else you will have these this uh, these problems. So now let's do this once again. You've seen it before. Resave as the latest file, and when it's done. We will just add it to the translation, remove the old one, let's add the new Swedish file and just rename it so it's the same as we have in the manifest, close and then start the game again. Hopefully now it should set, say OM up here in the corner, cross our fingers, yep, it did. So uh, I think that's pretty good demonstration how it looks, how you are supposed to do and uh, risks with when you're not doing as you're supposed to be doing. So this is the story about brave people, blah, 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 blah. Honest and hardworking, loyal and well-shaped citizens from the Ascendance builds and harvests. Now we learn Swedish as well. So, I hope that's a good demonstration of the program and the translation process of the game. 
it's actually not that hard once you create your structure and you have it working then it's very easy to add the translation files and for other mods as well you do it in the same way you just add them to the manifest and add a translation file here and then it should work for any mod that you want to translate all right i hope that is a good explanation thanks for watching see you next time bye bye